I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath Scared to rock the boat and make a mess So I said quietly Agreed politely I guess that I forgot Here, Here's my next question to you and, and I really want a lot of people to answer this So if you did, if you could go back in time Maybe to junior high or even a little bit younger When you started realizing these things among you know other girls and other young women What would you tell yourself oh god back in junior high what would you tell yourself <laughs> what did you know that wasn't i just said don't wear eyeliner like that but that was my favorite one um lots of things but um seriously like for sophomores especially um care about your grades like you're you're gonna regret like not trying back in um keyboarding class and you got a C but you could have got an A or like do the homework like do all those things like you're gonna regret if you don't do it and then um that's pretty much the main point like you you're like go around yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's then trade like if you're in a sport especially like try your hardest because once you're a senior um you can only do as much trying as you can now because you can't go back and change what happened in like that sports season or like even like in band like you should practice more, like, it applies to anything, like, just try your hardest to anything. <coughs> it's not worth, like, being lazy and being on the computer, it's, like, being important is, like, what you're doing now in school, so definitely try hard. And listen to your school counselors, we kind of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's a good idea. Let's, let's kind of go around. So yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. We'll go this way. So what's something you would tell yourself, like, from junior high or, or even upper elementary <laughs> to help you get through that time? Um, I feel like I would have just told myself to surround myself with better friends. Because, like, I just surrounded myself with, like, people that I just wanted to be like and just be with. And, like, I didn't really pay attention to those people that were, like, really there for me. And now I'm kind of like, oh, they were there for me, and I didn't appreciate them, and I didn't, like, help them as a friend. So I wish I would have just paid more attention to people that actually care about me, not what they wanted me to be. I would be like, I wouldn't let anything stop me from participating in something that I was even slightly interested in. So, like, if you wanted to be involved in something, but, like, people told you or, like, you told yourself that you weren't able to do it, like, get involved as much as you can because, like, you'd, like, be amazed at how fast, like, time starts to go. Like, I'm a junior in high school, and I can't believe that. So, like, take, like, advantage of the, like, opportunities you have to get involved in things in school and, like, things outside of school. <laughs> That's rough. But I think, like, you need to be less concerned about where you stand socially or whatever. Like, if you don't have, like, right friends right then or, like, right now or whatever you want, then, like, it's, it can still happen. And I don't think you need to be too worried about it. Um, me, well, I don't think I would change anything because it wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I were to change something. <laughs> Um, like, don't be concerned with others' opinions. Like, just, like, don't conform to the world. Um, I would have to say, I would probably want to remind myself more to, like, take a step back and look at the big picture, because it's really easy to get caught up in, like, the moment, and, like, a lot of times that will, um, cause you to, like, say things you don't mean, or say things, like, without thinking, and then that, like, is kind of like a dominant effect, too. So just like take a big, big picture. Okay, mine is pretty similar to Molly's. Just like not really like be so concerned with like what other people think. Like I know in junior high, I only wore like Hollister and American Eagle jeans. So I was like, oh, I have to have like, these ones. <laughs> like, but like compared, like it wasn't like I like the jeans anymore. Like I just wanted other people to see that. <laughs> so like, just like don't care.
like you or not, like if you're like popular or not, because it's more about like what you do for the world and like what you leave behind. So I would have just told myself to like do my own thing, I guess. Um, I would probably have told myself to focus on what's important rather than what other people are. Like, don't be so much surrounded by like kind of like drama, I guess you say. Like, because you know, when you get in drama, like maybe you're not even like, this is not even about you, but like people like get you involved and just like, and it just blows up into something that's like had nothing to do with you in the first place. And then why get involved? Like, just stay like in a more positive way. Like, be happy, do something you want to do. Don't like, kind of don't like, oh, I should have done this. And maybe like this could happen. Like, don't be afraid to do what you want. Like, yeah, I kind of agree. Like, I would just say to like focus on you and like what would benefit you like in the long run because <coughs> if you do put yourself in all those other like social groups that everybody wants to be part of, like really, how many people are you gonna see like after college that you're going to like want to be friends with that didn't really like benefit you or make you happy in that time that you like wanted to be part of that group? Like, just do what you like. Make what makes you happy, pretty much. Like, and don't worry about what other people think, because you probably won't see over half of them after college and school. So. Um, I'd probably tell my junior high self that, um, like, I don't know, that, like, being in a certain friend group or having certain, like, popular friends or being, like, a certain someone's girlfriend or anything like that, like, isn't the biggest, best thing you can do. Like, that's not going to be the pinnacle of your life, and you shouldn't expend all your energy on it because like there are so many like more wonderful things you can like do for yourself and others through like your schoolwork or like your music or your faith or volunteering or like anything like that like it's so much more important um i would tell myself to not worry about like what other people think <coughs> just like i don't know be yourself and just, like, um i'd probably say my junior high self don't grow up so fast because i think from the time we're little, we're always trying to find a way how we can be older. Like, you know, a little kid, like, dressing up or in junior high, just always worried about, like, oh, being older, because when I'm in high school, I'll get to do this. Okay, when I'm in college, I'll get to do this. But, I mean, you just got to take it one day at a time and just, like, enjoy what you got, because one day, I mean, you're, not, you're never going to be able to go back, and one day you're going to regret not, like, enjoying the moment. Um, I would tell myself to, like, surround myself with, like, Um, in junior high, I think, like, if one person in the group wants to do something, like, you, everybody has to do it. Kind of, it's like, it's not really what you want, it's kind of like a group thing. And just that it's okay not to do that if you don't want to. Just like, you can do your own thing if you want. Um, I would say just, like, get involved. And, like she said, like, if your friends don't necessarily want to do what you do, like, do it anyway. It doesn't matter if they don't think it's the coolest thing or anything like that uh, I would say like don't be a follower like don't do like kind of like what Adrian said like don't do what other people like things gonna be like cool or something and like if people talk about you like don't let it get to you yeah I kind of said why I was like don't let other people get you down it's important to listen to what other people say because if there's something that you don't realize is hurting other people's feelings or something like that it's important that you might think about changing um, your actions but it's also really important to stay true to yourself and do things that make you happy like other people have said kind of the same thing it's like junior high kids are really focused on what other people care about what what, they, what other people care about what other people think about them and it, it's really hard to try and not be like that but it's important to keep the big picture in mind what things are really important i would say start <laughs> learning and doing good study skills like while you're in junior high and it's not as important because I didn't really have time management or anything and now in high school I actually have to study for my tests <laughs> and so um, I would just do that so it would be an easier adjustment. Mm, uh, my junior high self I would have like kind of like Sydney said take a step back and like you know girls would be mean it is what it is so you just kind of have to take a step back and like think like about the bigger picture. Um, well, there's a lot I would want to say to my junior high self, but I think most importantly, would just say don't try to please everyone because you can't and it'll just make you miserable. Um, I would probably say don't 
acknowledging to myself to be more self-confident in who I was or am because I moved here and I tried to be myself and I thought everyone didn't like me for who I was. So I kind of conformed into who everyone else wanted me to be. I have the tiger fighter dancing through the fire because I am a champion and you're going